Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Let's see what we can expect um, Taurus for your 22nd to the 28th of January. One card for each day spirit. What can my Taurus gang expect from Monday to Sunday? That's Monday, that's Tuesday Taurus, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Bottom of my deck, Eight of Pentacles. It's going to be a work-oriented uh, week for you Taurus. Very grounded energy from what I can see. You would be working mm, head down over on something. Maybe on yourself, maybe on your work, maybe it could be anything. I don't know. It's a general reading. But before I start opening all the cards one by one let's also pick up an affirmation for you as to what you should be affirming to yourself to have a wonderful week ahead Taurus so tell me my angels what should Taurus be affirming to themselves this week what what is it that they need to know and the card I get here for you Taurus is I'm cleansed within the violent violet flame this archangel Zadical Archangel Zadical will help you find tolerance and forgiveness. He works on the violet ray of purification and transmutation, helping you to release lower vibrations and ascend to a higher way of being. Angel Wisdom suggests you to visualize yourself in a violet flame and evoke Archangel Zadkiel to help you. Play, place your troubles and difficult relationships within this flame so that all negativity is transmuted. You are blessed to have drawn this card today for it indicates that you are ready to walk the path of light. Maybe you are just working on yourself this week, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, put this card here and pick up the card for Monday. Monday Spirit for Taurus, what can they expect? Ace of Wands. This is a passionate brand new beginning. What is this about, uh, Spirit? What's the Ace of Wands? You're starting the new. What's the Ace of Wands? Starting the week with an Ace? Taurus? Great way to start a week though. Excitement. Uh, four of Cups. Maybe after a um, period of time where you've uh, fe felt a little lackluster or you felt ignored or you were disinterested or you were discontent maybe in the past. I think this Monday onwards you're going to be waking up on the right side of the bed where you'll say, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to take control of my life. I'm ready to, mm, you know, start off on some new adventure or new project or new relationship or I'm just going to work on myself. Yes, very practical, very practical and you'll be nurturing not only yourself but you'll have enough time and energy to take care of everything around you as well from your home to your life to your loved ones. It's like, yes, I'm going to look good, I'm going to dress well. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles energy who is a very nurturing, self-nurturing and others as well. Ten of Wands. Uh, just to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> That's one little hint Spirit is giving you that yes, don't take on the, I mean, okay, Ace of Wands is good, but the Ten of Wands gets a little overwhelming um, or maybe you're just leaving the Ten of Wands behind in the past and picking up that one wand and saying, I'm going to do things step by step, which would be a great idea because with this energy, it's like somebody is working on one pentacle at a time. Right? So maybe you will be putting down those burdens. So be very mindful on Monday not to take on too much at the same time. Tackle one job at a time and then see your progress. Okay, so Tuesday. What do we have for Tuesday for Taurus? Eight of Cups. Yes, you are You are on that new avatar of yours where you're saying, I'm not, Omkara, don't worry about me. I'm not taking on ten wands. I've just picked up that one because I am leaving all past disappointments behind. Anything that didn't serve me, I, they were all empty. They were all, I was discontent with the, a lot of these things in the past. I'm kicking them to the curb and I'm walking away from them i'm going towards my own peace and balance and harmony and you know yes i will be taking on one wand at a time this time from monday onwards because i know what i want and i want it to be. eight of cups is clarified by the eight of cups this is very good energy 
very very strong message here for you um, Taurus very good and very good uh, message for you this is eight of cups is like leaving anything that doesn't work in the past and moving towards now uh, feeling of feeling of feeling of balance feeling of love feeling of uh, satisfaction anything that you were discontent with in the past I think you're leaving that behind Monday onwards it's a brand new journey for you where you will be saying yes I will only pick up the one which makes me happy or made which makes sense to me great and you're continuing that on Tuesday as well tell me more about the eight of cups eight of cups on Tuesday spirit Empress yes absolutely you're only calling in the most beautiful uh, wonderful things into your life now Empress as an energy is somebody who doesn't chase, who doesn't think too much about the past. Let's bygones be bygones. I forgive you. I, I don't, uh, I forgive everything that didn't work out for me because right now I'm more focused on creating abundance for my future than looking at the past. You are in that very, very strong Empress's energy where you will be sitting and attracting only the best to the best for yourself. That's a great, that's a great way, way to start your week though, Taurus, I have to congratulate you. Okay, so Wednesday, Seven of Cups and here's when the buffet here's when the buffet starts to open up for you you the universe is going to send you lots and lots of new options by Wednesday for you to choose from what is the new that you would you would you like Taurus that now that you've learned your lessons and you have started this brand new journey uh, we give you so many cups to choose from what would you like to go towards now uh, four of pentacles I don't think you're going to be choosing anything in a rush Taurus because Taurus is a very grounded sign yes you will be kind of uh, you'll take your time Wednesday is going to be a time of making decisions you will be making list the two of swords energy which direction should I choose should I choose left or should I choose right I'm going to go indoors I'm going to shut my door I'm going to think for a little while because I have a lot of lot to ponder on I have to decide which is the best direction for me. So Wednesday is going to be a day when you may take a little time out to exactly get over your confusion about which option to choose from going forward. Thursday spirit, Hierophant. What's the Hierophant? was the hierophant very a very grounded energy high priestess yes you'll be choosing the best thing for yourself your intuitive powers have been enlightened maybe wednesday has done something for you because by thursday you will be your using your intu intuition and going for something that is very practical which is grounded which is going to give you the success that you desire so tell me give me one more king of cups okay you will be I don't think you'll be sharing everything with anyone either but uh, whatever you have uh, you whatever you have decided you're going to be keeping it close to your chest I don't think you'll be sharing too much information with others because you don't want any past disappointments to be repeated now so you may just keep your your decisions to yourself by Thursday but whatever you are planning to do it's going to be very grounded it's going to be a good decision it's going to give you a practical grounded um, force coming towards you this is something like you know this is a very practical way of thinking if, if, if I put in three will I get three back kind of a you know energy so yes that is what the universe is promising you but take your little time on Wednesday and make the best decisions make a practical decision it's going to really work for you so friday spirit seven of swords what's the seven of swords what's the seven of swords knight of pentacles yeah people may people may not even know what you're up to people may not even know about this new path that you're going to be following or this new offer that you're going towards you may do it quietly people may see that we see no movement from Taurus I think they've got totally gone underground maybe they are like that little tortoise in their shell nobody knows what's going on with you you will be making some secret plans for yourself on Friday but you're doing it from a very good place again I have the Empress out because you know what you want and you know how you're going to get it you're manifesting big time secretly 
I don't think you're going to be telling too many people about your plans this time, uh, Taurus. I see on Friday as well, even though you would have started to take action, you're doing it in a very secretive way from what I feel. Uh, people may see you, uh, not see you actually, <laughs> they probably wonder where uh, Taurus is on Friday because you'll be moving towards your abundance, your plans, your taking action in secret. So Saturday then, Spirit? What happens on Saturday? Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands? Again, planning, thinking, which direction should I take now? But, but whatever direction you have chosen, or oh, you have chosen by, see, look at this woman. She's got two Wands, right? She's holding one out of the two. I think by Saturday you have made the decision about which direction you need to go towards. It is going to be leading you towards a lot of peace and happiness and harmony. So good decisions being made, uh, Taurus. It's an important week for you where you are embodying that Empress's energy now, taking back power and control of your own life by yourself. And uh, yeah, doing it in a way where you are nurturing and taking care of yourself as well. Queen of Cups, Empress Energy. Okay, so how do we end the week then for uh, Taurus Spirit? How do we end the week for Taurus on Sunday? Knight of Swords. Okay, that's when, that's when maybe the action begins. Maybe publicly. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, you will be feeling so good. You will be so feeling so good. The Wheel of Fortune starts to move forward in such a powerful way. And what you've been keeping secret from others, people will be seeing. Will finally be seeing you out in the road and pursuing your dreams and wishes and being a huge success or moving towards your success by yourself. This is like giving, give yourself a pat on your back on Sunday and others will be doing that as well. To Then they'll be wondering, how did you do this? How did you manage to make your dreams, wishes and whatever plans come to fruition by yourself? This is a person who does things single-handedly. And that's exactly the energy I've seen you throughout the week, planning very patiently, very quietly, not making a ruckus or, you know, shouting it from the rooftops. But I think you've been doing it in like that, you know, slow and steady wins the race kind of a thing or just secretively. But by Sunday, it'll be out in the open when you finally emerge as the victor and I end with the sun card for you on Sunday it's going to be a very happy day it's finally it's like you're out in the open your people will be seeing you they'll be applauding you they'll be mm, it's going to be a full it's it could be a good day sun is the happiest card in the deck where you feel everything in my world is good Sunday will be a very happy day for you sun shines brightly and the Spotlight is on my Taurus gang. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.